In today's world, the volume of unstructured information is growing at an enormous rate. We really need better technologies to help make sense of it and make better decisions. At IBM, we're seeing a new era of computing, starting with the tabulating era, then to the programmable computer era, and now cognitive computing systems, which expand the boundaries of human cognition, become smarter with use, and have a much more natural interaction between the human and the computer. In the area of artificial intelligence, there were a lot of amazing ideas, but computational capabilities just weren't ready for them. Watson suddenly makes some of these crazy ideas possible. At the core, we're trying to leverage knowledge the way humans record and communicate it, natural human language, and in particular, text. Its initial introduction to the world was as a competitor on the Jeopardy quiz show in the healthcare space. We're approaching it as a support tool to expand the physician's cognitive boundaries by giving them deeper access to much larger volumes of information, the history associated with the patient, the journal articles, clinical results, best practice guidelines, etc. That volume of content is doubling every five years. Physicians have precious little time to keep up with everything. A system like Watson can leverage the computer's ability to deal with huge volumes of data, understand the knowledge that's contained within this data, apply it to the problem that the physician is trying to solve, give them different alternatives to consider, and in particular, the underlying evidence that supports those alternatives. That basic problem-solving pattern applies to a wide variety of industries. Any area where you have complex problems that you're trying to solve we're adapting the computer technology to work better with the way humans want to work so that it's a more natural relationship between the human and the computer.